Hello and welcome to another Spark Labs project. Today I'll be showing you how easy it is to make your very own fast charging USB-C power bank with 18650 batteries. Taking a look at the key features of this power bank, we have Quick Charge 3.0, two USB-A ports and a USB-C port for charging your devices, USB-C or micro USB for charging the power bank. You can fast charge one device or charge two devices at regular speed, it also has customizable capacity, so you can choose the number of batteries to suit your needs and just modify the enclosure so everything fits. And if this power bank ever stops working, you can quickly repair it by replacing the batteries or the PCB. So overall, this power bank has some neat features and can be cheaper than buying one online if you can find cheap 18650 batteries online or just recycle them from old laptop batteries. To make this power bank, we'll be using a PCB which you can find on AliExpress for around $5. You can choose the number of 18650 batteries to get the desired capacity and the 3D printed enclosure can be modified to suit. Please watch until the end of the video where I explain this further. I highly encourage you to give this DIY project a go as it is quite simple. However, please take the necessary safety measures as lithium ion batteries and the tools used can otherwise cause serious injuries. With that out of the way, let's see how easy it is to assemble this power bank. First up, we're going to prepare the batteries. Often, when you get recycled batteries, they can have some nickel strip left over, which can be removed with wire cutters or a Dremel. Next, ensure all the batteries are closely matched in terms of their model, capacity and voltage. Don't combine different brands or models of batteries as we want them to share the load equally. Always measure the battery voltage with a multimeter and get them as close as possible. Match the capacities of the batteries as well if you have a capacity tester. Ensure all the batteries are insulated. Add Kapton or electrical tape to any battery where the insulation has come off. As we are putting them side by side with no gap, this is critical for safety. You could improve this design by separating the batteries with 18650 spacers. In that case, you'd have to make the enclosure a bit wider to house the spacers. Next, arrange the batteries in a parallel configuration and hold them together using a rubber band or something similar. Then, cut the required amount of nickel strip for the positive and negative terminals. Leave a bit extra in case we need it for soldering later. We're now going to spot weld all the batteries. I'm using my Secure SW2 portable spot welder, which works perfectly for this application. I'll post a review of this spot welder at some point and link it in the top right corner and description where you can also find a link to purchase. Now we're going to check that they fit the enclosure with the PCB mounted. Next, solder the positive end to the positive terminal of the board and the negative end to the negative. Now we're ready to screw together the enclosure. Note that this enclosure design comes with 3D printed tabs for clicking the button, but I damaged mine in the process of cutting. I can still operate the button with a pen, but ideally you'll keep the tabs for doing so. And that's it. It's that easy to make your own power bank. I outlined the benefits of this DIY project earlier, and I think it's quite rewarding to make your own. Reusing old materials saves you money and is better for the environment. Let's take a look at where you can find the 3D printing design and the IP5328P PCB. All credit for the enclosure design goes to Yaniv. Apologies if I didn't pronounce that correctly. If you visit the link below to the printables website, you will see that this is a ready to print design that can be customized to your needs. There are STL files available for two 18650 cells all the way to six. I just used the five cell template for my 10,000 mAh battery made of 2,000 mAh cells. If you need more than six cells, you can modify the design in Fusion 360 or other CAD software. The enclosure is a two-part design with a base and a lid. As per one of the comments on this design, the four screw hole diameters aren't all the same. Yaniv, the designer, recommends using screws made for plastic and noted the DIN7891F screws for this purpose. I just used 3mm screws and they seem to hold it together well enough. Now, for the IP5328P PCB, I've linked this AliExpress item in the description. 
It has 4.8 stars with more than 400 items sold and 59 reviews. The seller I ordered from is out of stock, but if you pay with PayPal, you should be covered in case of any issues. Additionally, here is a datasheet to the IP5328P PCB. Great Scott has done some testing of this power bank in one of his videos. These are linked in the description. In summary, this is an easy DIY project to practice your soldering and spot welding skills, while making a very useful accessory for your phone or tablet. Thank you for watching until the end. Please like if you found it helpful, comment if you have any feedback or questions, and subscribe for more videos in the future.